In this video, we're going to show you how to get rid of aphids from eating on your plants organically. And we're going to start right now. What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy Sidney from the Naked Gardener channel. In this video, we're going to put together a solution to get rid of aphids and other type of bugs that's eating on your plants. What we're going to use is a cold pressed neem oil and you want to make sure you use cold press that way it doesn't extract any of the neem oil uh, chemicals that will allow the, the bugs to not to feed onto your plants. And then we're also going to use a surfactant, a organically uh, surfactant. We're we'll use soap dish, soap dish or dish soap that has no dye or any other chemicals. As, as you can see, it says free and clear. You can get it from Sprouts or any local grocery store. And what this does is allows the oil and the water to mix in there uh, very well. So it's almost like oil and vinegar. It allows it to mix in there. And when you spray it onto your plants, the dish soap is the surfactant that allows this neem oil to stay on top of that plant. So that way when the aphids eat it, or if they eat, leave their eggs or the larva on there, it messes up their digestive systems and that way they won't continue producing and eating on your plants. So what we're gonna do, I, what I normally do, sorry about the wind, is I'll get a, uh, a gallon of water and I'll shake this up and I'll add two tablespoons per gallon. And if you can see how the bubbles on there, they just clump up. So what we'll do is we'll add their surfactant and it just disperse. Just go to your liking. Normally it's about one to two tablespoons of dish soap per gallon. And you mix this up. Just look at it and make sure all the neem oil is dispersed in there equally. You can see the tiny bubbles in there. And what you want to do is get you one of these sprays, something like this, where you can get the, um, a big box store, or you could even get put it in a spray like this, or just a gallon spray or garden spray that you have. I already have some in here. So what we're going to do is go and uh, find a plant. I have some okra and some chamomile that's been infect, infested with some aphids. So we're gonna spray those plants. And I think we're gonna do some lettuce as well. I think there's some uh, lettuce that we need to spray. So we're gonna start over there. All right, here we have our okra. We have uh, uh, some aphids I had on here earlier. I, I was able to wipe them down and knock them out. But we're gonna do a preventative method now. And you want to do this about once you start seeing them wants to do it about at least once every week to 10 days and so what you want to do is just shake it up every time you spray onto another plant you want to shake it up and just get it on there now this is organically so you can touch it if you want to it's good you just Make sure you get underneath the plant and there was still some back there That's where they're going to mostly hide at is the fruit of the plant and underneath there So That will get it good now if it rains you want to apply after you get a nice day apply on there again uh, this is the time of year if you live in a humid, wet climate, the aphids will come, especially if you have healthy plants. The aphids will come and start feeding onto the, your plant. All right, now the Mrs. Naked Gardener found some aphids on here earlier. She sprayed, I don't see any more. But like I said, you want to, if you see it on the plant, you want to use as a protective measurement and just continue to spray them once a week. So what we did, we shook it up. Get it, make sure you get it all up in there. That way, if 
the eggs or the larva once the eggs if there's any eggs in here and the larva uh, start to hatch and it start trying to feed off here and mess up the digestive system and go from that these also this neem oil will also work well with leaf miners if you don't know what leaf miner is you have an insect that buries inside your leaf and make like a maze on there so now we have another protective bug that we have to worry about on this one get all up in there and a good way to get rid of that bug is basically you just smush it but I'll just get rid of the leaf itself and that will prevent that so that's two plants we have to worry about on here once again in under over top saturate it and it doesn't harm it whatsoever now we'll go on to the romaine lettuce. Okay, here we have our romaine lettuce. As you can see, it's getting very big. We need to start harvesting this, but we'll just spray it down. Make sure you get all the leaves in there. There's some caterpillar poop. So I know there's been something that's about to pop off. After it rains, I'm gonna to have to apply this to all these plants again because the humid of this Texas heat is gonna bring the uh, track to bugs and uh, go from there. The, uh, the good thing about this neem, cold pressed neem oil solution is it doesn't harm any type of beneficial bugs like the butterflies, ladybugs, or anything of those type that help pollinate and kill the bad bugs. It will only harm the soft body bugs like the aphids and the uh, caterpillars and the moth, the moth, uh, cabbage moth and stuff. So it's good from there. The neem oil is a product that you can, the actual neem oil you can use to as a beauty product for your uh, skin condition or skin uh, lotion, conditioner, things of that nature. Uh, so it's healthy for, for you as well if you're going to grow neem. And uh, that's really about it. We're going to have to harvest this pretty soon here. Some more caterpillar poop. Anywhere there's caterpillar poop, you know there's going to be some problems. Some stuff about to go down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any family or friends that has a garden and have the issue with any type of these type of bugs, uh, make sure you share this video with them. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Now we're not always on YouTube, so make sure you follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. You can also join us on our Facebook page and that way you can conversate and interact with us on a daily basis. And as always, let's grow together.